<laughs> Hello everybody. Gabriel and Sarah here to give you his nine months update. Gabriel turned nine months old over the weekend. So we're going to tell you all about this past month and what happened. So to start you off with some stats. And these are going to be 100% accurate because we went to the pediatrician's office today for his nine month appointment. And so we got official weights and lengths. So he is clocking in at 21 pounds and five ounces. He didn't gain too much from our last video, but that's okay. He did grow some inches finally. Yay! <laughs> He's now 28 inches. So for weight, he's in the 75th percentile, and for height, he's in the 34th percentile. So he's still getting a little be a little short, but as Jacob assures us, the Upshaws are tiny people. <laughs> His head circumference was good. I forgot what percentile that was. Do you remember? No. His head circumference was good, um, and his overall percentile was the 90th when you combine height and weight so he is doing good growth wise he has five and a half teeth his two top and two bottom are fully out he's cut one on the top right as well and the one on the top left is so close to cutting through so when that happens he'll have six teeth so that's why I say five and a half hello you got a thing on your face. Oh well, can't see it now. Sleeping wise, got really bad since the last update. We are lucky if we get three hours at night. He has been fighting his bedtimes and then getting up super early in the mornings. What's the matter? Ready? One, two, three, go. You lost a shoe! Uh, he's been fighting some naps too or skipping them all together. So we talked to the pediatrician about it this morning and she gave us some good tips. So we're going to try to implement those and see if we are successful so we can at least get a four or five hour stretch. So we're hopeful. You messed up your hair. Solid food wise, he's doing really good. We've started introducing more uh, chunkier consistencies and he's taking those really well. You've seen all the videos, which I'm sure Jacob will pop up right here, but we've tried kale most recently. Not a big fan. Beets, loved beets. We did broccoli, also not a big fan. Butternut squash, he really liked that. We, I think we tried it previously, but we tried it again, and he really, really liked it. Some new stuff. Uh, we're going to start trying meat, some protein. So we're going to give him some chicken and see what happens. I think for the chicken, we will go ahead and do the pre-made baby food because we don't want any salmonella risks of us making the chicken because I love Jacob, but he does not cook meat well. I burn it. <laughs> So, we're going to go ahead and trust the experts. I'm going to try to find some organic, um, not a bunch of extra chemical baby food. So, if you have any suggestions, please tell us in the comments. We are happy to get those since this is our first baby food buying experience. For his developmental milestones, he is sitting up so well and can go from crawling and laying to sitting in two seconds. That is a really good skill he has mastered. He has started pulling up on everything. Um, lately, he's been immediately standing in his crib, which is a little terrifying for me. He is army crawling, army crawling so fast. And then every so often he'll get up on his knees and take a few um, crawls on his knees not consistently but he's doing really good he loves his walker and he can also scoot around in his walker really really fast he pulls up on us and on his toys and everything and um 
can hold his balance, but if he pulls up on you, he immediately wants to let go of your hands and be independent. So I feel like <laughs> that is coming through. So I'm glad I put these shoes on him because this is a great distraction. Forget the toy that I brought. He likes his shoes. He doesn't have too many more many more words from our last video. Still the dad dad or the dad in the haze. He has started this new <laughs> oh god. <laughs> that in your mouth. He has started this new sound that is really cute where he'll um, put his tongue at the roof of his mouth and kind of talk from the middle of his mouth. Ah, and he makes those. We haven't had a chance to get it on camera yet, but I'm sure when Jacob is able to, he will share it with you guys. It's really funny. He started that this weekend. Uh, we're still trying to teach him bye-bye. He'll do the bye-bye wave, but not when it's time for someone to leave. Like, randomly throughout the day, you'll see him opening and closing his little fist. He really likes music. We turn on music for him almost every day. And he does his really cute dancing thing where he'll go side to side, hoping and he'll do it in this video. You don't want to? We don't have any music playing, so maybe not. For his loves and hates, he loves, as evidenced by his current state, shoelaces and strings and tags and anything little that he can chew on and play with. He loves his walker. He <laughs> likes to chase the dogs. He likes to chase us. He likes to run over the dog water bowl repeatedly and then you refill it and then he runs over it again. He likes to follow you wherever you are in the house to new rooms in his walker. He still likes his bouncer. He started in the mornings, when it's early, if he gets up really early, we'll put him in it and he'll like lay back and watch TV. It's really funny. He's just chilling out in his walker. He really loves the outdoors. He loves to be outside, especially in his front facing stroller so he can see everything. He still loves children and loves to watch them and is starting to interact with them more. He got to meet his cousin from Florida this weekend and he loved watching her. He likes music. He likes beets. He likes the grocery store. He lights up at the grocery store and is so friendly to everyone around. If someone walks past the cart, he like stares them down until they make eye contact with him and interact with him. He says hi to all the workers there and they say hi to him. It's really, really cute. For his hates, uh, he really hates going down for a nap when he's overtired. He gets so mad. He hates when you try to look at his teeth to see if he's cut anymore. He doesn't like you messing with his teeth. Or his nose when he his nose is stuffy and we've got to get rid of the boogers. That's about all for his nine month update. He has done a lot of new things and gotten a lot bigger developed wise and is all over the place and getting more and more mobile. So I can only imagine it gets worse from here. We're going to be running around like crazy people trying to keep up with him. But he is super cute and we are just having the best time with him. So we look forward to seeing what his 10 month update will bring. Let's show everybody how tall you are. One, two, three. delayed. Usually if you say yay, he'll say yay back. So thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Tell us in the comments some organic, good, not bad baby foods that we can try. And be sure to subscribe to our channel on your way out and hit that bell so it notifies you when we upload a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. You have your hands full. You can't wave bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye-bye.